This tongue is no dhari talwar. In Urdu they say that it's a double-edged sword. On the one side it can help you to get to Jannah, but on the other side it can take you to Jahannam. On the one side it can win hearts of people. On the other, uh, other side you can hurt many, many people. And I'll finish with this one verse of the Quran. As Musa alayhi salatu was salam, Harun alayhi salatu was salam, are being ordered and instructed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to go to Fir'aun. The biggest tyrant that's mentioned in the Quran, Fir'aun. The biggest tyrant that's mentioned in the Quran, Fir'aun. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Musa alayhi salatu was salam and Harun alayhi salatu was salam, فَقُولَ لَهُ قَوْلًا لَيِّنًا لَأَلَّهُ يَتَذَكَّرُ وَيَحْشَى when you go and speak to Fir'aun, speak to him in a soft voice. In a soft manner. In a kind way. Brothers and sisters who are listening online, we have to learn how to control our tongue. Keep silent as much as possible. Before you speak, weigh the heaviness and the, the weight of what you're going to say according to how it's going to affect someone in this world and the hereafter. And if you do speak, speak kindly, speak gently, speak in a soft manner. Win the hearts of people through your tongue. Don't hurt people through your tongue. Win Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through your tongue with La ilaha illallah, dhikr of Allah and the Quran and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and never ever utter any word that will harm you in the hereafter, that will disappoint and which, which will hurt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to control our tongue. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to use our tongue to bring hearts together rather than turning hearts away.